Hi there, everyone. It's Mrs. Bailey, and today we're going to be reading I Found a Frog by T. Albert, that's the author, the person who wrote the book, illustrated by Ma Illustrations, that's the person or people who drew the pictures. And it's a monkey pen book, so it's free to all children. Now, as with all of my books, I encourage you to read along because reading along helps you become a better reader. And every now and then you'll see where I put my little cursor down so it can highlight where we are. And that's just in case you lose your place, you can catch right back up. So let's get started. Even though I have grandchildren of my own, it seems like it was only yesterday when I returned home from school to find a frog in my bedroom. Okay, so yeah, he does look like a granddad, doesn't he? I have a feeling that this book is going to be him remembering when he was a kid and when he found a frog in his bedroom. So let's read on and see. My mother just chuckled when I yelled out, I found a frog on my bed. Now, she knew that I would eventually find one, but she let me discover a wonder of nature that many people miss. So yeah, here he is. This is the grandpa as a little boy. And he's remembering the day he found a frog on his bed. So this should be interesting. You see, a little earlier that spring, when I was six years old, I saw some little black fish in a pond. Since I didn't have any pets, I went home and asked my mother if I could have one. After we talked about my catching some of the fish I saw and the responsibility of having a pet, she agreed. Okay, guys, do those look like little black fish to you? I guess they kind of do, but I don't know. They may look a little like something else to me. We'll have to find out. I ha I'm kind of suspicious. She gave me a bowl, told me to go catch a few, and said that while I was out, she would prepare their new home. Off I went. There were so many that they were easy to catch. I filled the bowl and ran home. When I got home, my mother had an old fish bowl filled with water sitting on the corner of my desk. She asked to see the fish, looked, and with a big smile said, Tadpoles, wow, you are in for a surprise. I asked what she meant, and she just said that I would have to wait and see, but to watch my fish carefully. Now, guys, do you know what tadpoles are? I have a feeling that tadpoles aren't little fish. We'll have to see. After a few weeks, I noticed some were changing. Mom, I yelled with excitement, come here. My fish are growing legs. She came into my room, looked, smiled, and told me to keep watching. Yep, looks like his fish are growing some little legs there. Now, we know fish don't have legs, right? After several more weeks, there were more changes. Mom, I yelled with excitement, come here. My fish are growing front legs, and their tail is going away. Hmm, I think my suspicions are coming true. A week or so later, when I got up, I was amazed. There were more changes. My fish didn't have tails. Their legs were bigger, and they didn't look like the little black fish I had caught earlier in the spring. That day, when I returned home from school, is when I yelled out, 
I found a frog on my bed. Okay, yep, look at that. Those tadpoles were really baby frogs, weren't they? And back here on this other page, where we saw they were starting to grow legs, well, when tadpoles start to grow legs, they become what is called a froglet. That's the beginning stages of them becoming a frog. So, they weren't really fish, were they? They were frogs. Surprise, yelled Mom. You watched a miracle right before your eyes. A fish changed into a frog. Off I went. So where do you think he's going? He's going to put back all of his little frogs right where he got them from. Remember in the beginning when he went to the pond and he found all of the tadpoles which he thought were little black fish? He's taking them right back there to live a happy life. Now over here where it says a fish changed into a frog, do you think his mom really thinks that fish changed into a frog? I don't. I just think that she knows that he thought they were fish in the beginning, and now they had changed into frogs. So guys, that was a really cute book, wasn't it? And if you do the worksheets that accompany some of my books, you know that they have a lot of questions on them. So I'm going to give you a couple of little fun facts that may be on those worksheets if you do them. If you don't do them, that's fine. It's still little fun facts about frogs that you can get to know. It says frogs are amphibians. Now amphibians is a big word. And it means they can live on the land or in the water. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Remember how they started out as tadpoles in the water? They lived entirely in the water at that time, and they would eat plants or algae. Algae is the little green slimy stuff that you sometimes see in ponds. But once they become frogs, they live more on land, and they start eating insects. So they live both in the water and on the land. Also, frogs don't drink like you and me. You know, everyone has to drink water. Even plants have to have water. And we humans drink it in a glass or in a bottle. We have to stay hydrated in order to live. Well, frogs do too, but they don't drink it like from a pond. They can't drink the water when they're at the pond or in the water. The water sinks in through their skin. That's what it means when it says they drink water by absorbing it through their skin. It means it just sinks into their skin, and that's how they stay hydrated, which helps them stay alive. So that's pretty cool, isn't it? Down here, it says frog life cycle. The one part of the story that we didn't get to see is the very, very, very beginning of a frog's life, and that's when they're eggs. They start off with a mommy laying eggs in the spring. Tadpoles hatch from those eggs. That's where we entered the story out from. When the little boy found the little black fish, which were really tadpoles, in the pond. And once they start developing those front legs right there, and, or the back legs, I'm sorry, the back legs come first. Once they start developing the legs, they're what is called a froglet. Once those tails go away, they become a full-on frog. So, all the way from eggs to a frog. That was pretty cool, isn't it? That was a little bit of science for you. So, I thought that was a really cute book. And, uh-oh, let me go. Until next time, I thank you for tuning in, and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.